Do you know that scientists can kinda read minds now? Wow, perfect, so, when I surf the web, Google Ads suddenly says, We noticed you were thinking about tacos, here's a coupon. It's still early. They can only reconstruct blurry images of what you're seeing. So basically, when looking at my brain, they may wonder, is that a fat cat or a potato? Scientists also tried to show people images slash video slash sounds, and then capture how the brain reacted to these stimuli. You know what, this is really cool. I'm going on a date soon, it could be helpful to know what the girl is thinking. The tech has limits, it's highly personalized. So what works for one person won't necessarily work for another. And are you sure you want to bring a huge MR ice can to your date? And ask the girl to sit down, I will scan your brain. Researchers have made significant strides in using neuroimaging techniques, coupled with artificial intelligence, to decode and even reconstruct visual images spoken words, and inner monologue from brain activity. The primary methods employed for these remarkable feats are functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, electroencephalography, AE, and magnetoencephalography, MEG. Each of these techniques measures different aspects of brain function. fMRI tracks changes in blood flow, which indicate neural activity while EEG and MEG record the electrical and magnetic fields produced by the brain's electrical currents. Recent breakthroughs have demonstrated the ability to translate brain signals into meaningful information. For instance, scientists have successfully reconstructed images by showing a person a picture and analyzing their brain activity. Researchers have been able to generate a recognizable, albeit blurry, version of the image they were seeing decoded inner speech. Studies have shown that it's possible to determine the words a person is silently saying to themselves by training AI models on. The brain patterns associated with speech translated thoughts into text. In some experiments, individuals have been able to generate sentences on a computer screen simply by thinking them. These systems, however, require extensive and personalized training for each user. These advancements are not about reading a specific, fleeting thought at a random moment. Instead, they rely on identifying consistent patterns of brain activity associated with particular stimuli or mental states. Machine learning algorithms are trained on vast amounts of data from an individual's brain scans to recognize these patterns. Why do we want to decode what's on our minds? Stethoscope Medical and Assistive Technologies this is the most developed and impactful area for thought decoding, offering renewed hope and ability to individuals with severe motor and communication disabilities. Communication for the paralyzed. For individuals with conditions like locked-in syndrome or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Brain-computer interfaces, BCIs, are life-changing. By analyzing brain signals, these systems allow patients to spell out messages, answer questions, or even generate continuous text simply by thinking, restoring their ability to communicate with loved ones and caregivers. Prosthetic and robotic control. Thought decoding allows for the intuitive control of advanced prosthetic limbs. A person can think about moving their hand, and the BCI translates these neural signals into commands that move the robotic arm and hand. This neuroprosthetics technology is becoming increasingly sophisticated aiming to restore not just movement, but also a sense of touch. Mobility restoration. Researchers are developing systems where paralyzed individuals can control wheelchairs or even stimulate their own muscles to move their limbs through thought alone, bypassing spinal cord injuries. Neuroscience and mental health research. Decoding thoughts provides an unprecedented window into the brain allowing scientists to study the very nature of cognition and consciousness, understanding brain processes. This technology helps researchers map the neural activity associated with specific mental processes like decision-making, memory recall, and emotional responses. It allows for a more direct understanding of how the brain processes information, dream analysis, Researchers are beginning to apply decoding techniques to analyze brain activity during sleep, aiming to reconstruct the visual and emotional content of dreams. Mental health diagnostics. In the future, 
thought decoding could offer objective insights into mental health conditions. By identifying abnormal neural patterns associated with conditions like schizophrenia, depression, or anxiety, it could lead to better diagnostic tools and personalized treatments.